had a look at some of the older shops. I'm buying tax, basically. One of the river and water sources for the city of Phoenix. Anyway, the tall high rise you see right over there is the Eden Casino, right over there. And as you can see, as we go a little bit closer, it's right on the freeway. And about to do some trailing and some vortexing. Emma's is looking, we're looking at Sedona and Emma's really impressed by this. Teeny tiny cock and balls. Teeny tiny cock and balls, look at that. That's not on the tour, I don't no, know. No, it's not mountain cock and balls. Mountain cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're on phone today, yeah. You're, you're on phone. You're such a crap. Tomorrow is going to look good. And you can expect to be Absolutely amazing. Them bitten's up there. Absolutely incredible. It says actually a few degrees colder than it should be. But it's totally cold. And it's hot, obviously. It's a place really interesting. You might be able to hear me because it's really windy. Let's look at these pools. Yeah. I've got some ocean from property in Arizona. See, so we did have a year one time. Ocean from property right here. It's very blowy, very blowy indeed. My hat keeps coming off. <laughs> right. And then they'll lift themselves back up. But so what causes a sinkhole? And what we're going to do in a minute, if you're really interested in what's down over here, this is the sinkhole that fell in probably in 1899. Yeah. It's one of the highest points in Sedona, so in a storm it takes a lot of lightning strikes. Mm -hmm. And some people, I don't know how familiar you might be with, but some people call it Capital Butte. Look at that. Look at that landscape. Emma just sits there chilling out. I'm going to have a little... She's taking in the vibe. This is absolutely desert. I have for quite a long time, actually. Bizarre, but I'm having a quick look. Very blowy, so I'm not wearing the hat because uh, it just blows off. It is very blowy. Red rock. Oh, what, a, what an amazing view. And it's just, it's just such a beautiful place here. Wow, that's that's incredible. You know what I'm thinking was. Here's a little fact for your fans. That is, sorry, it was Lucille Ball's home. After Lucille Ball of the Lucille Ball Show and Desilu Productions, who produced Star Trek. This is definitely the prisoner. <laughs> the courthouse butt. That one. And it's Bell Rock where we're heading to. Let's move the old up to Bell Rock and see what's going on up there. Got a little trowels about a mile. Um, it's a lovely day. 
water. We don't quite know where the energy center is in the energy vortex, so I'm just going to tune in, baby. There it is. Bell Rock. Do a roll on the Bell Rock Park. Chilling out at Bull Rock. Wonderful. They tell me that the doors, the front is the original doors. And after at nine o'clock. Okay. But look, the bathrooms, you see the sign they run that way. Here we are at the San Xavier Mission. There's a little service going on for kids before they go to school, so we're going to go and have a little look around at 9 o'clock. Very cool. And then we're heading down to Tombstone on this lovely Tuesday morning. A lot of restoration work going on at the moment. It's all rather nice. And we've got cactuses as well, because we like cactuses. The sacred mound which overlooks the mission over there. Really quite gorgeous and peaceful. Nice views of the surrounding area of Tucson. So from the mound here, we walk down and there's the mission. Boot Hill Graveyard. The famous Boot Hill Graveyard. Just outside too, so. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Here lies George Johnson, hanged by mistake. He was right, we was wrong, we sprung him up, and now he's gone. The story I heard is that he was wanted for, I believe it was horse theft. And he got evidence, you know, to show his innocence, and he rode into town to show it to everybody. I don't remember if he forgot his evidence or didn't get it to him fast enough, but they ain't enough hanging. To watch a real reenactment, re it's a bit tacky, but good fun. You ready? Yeah. 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 A couple of things before we get started, folks. First things first. I want you to give a message to your friend Holiday. I don't have time. You to tell him he's got a fake cut. Fuck, I'm an officer. I don't want to hear this kind of talk. Yeah. How about you, Wyatt? Wait, you like the dick on him for you. Looks to me like you could use all the friends you could get. And find those cowboys just fine, dog. And not far from here. In an empty lot on the OK Corral on Fremont. It looks to me business and boys have got guns. Then we will take those guns away from them. Yeah! <laughs> He's 17. Put up your hands, boys. We're here for your guns. Your guns. Oh, I don't want that! <laughs> started. The books will say 30 shots in 30 seconds, but I wasn't counting and neither was you. Two months after this gunfight, Virgil Earp was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the west till death found him in Nevada in 1905. Not as lucky was Wyatt's brother Morgan, shot in the back and killed, playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19, 1882. His brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart, the two main causes of this gunfight died hundreds of miles apart from each other. See, that was a really good gunfight, actually, good fun. Very good fun. Tombstone. Look 
Cool. I'm going to watch a quick film and then go in and have a wander up to the Bukage Theatre. Tom Stone. The town too tough to die. Okay, man. Theatre. Literally a very paranormally active area. Over here on the frame on the human fly show, Bill, about a foot up from the bottom corner. That's a ricochet mark from a 45. The show bills are the original show bills for the final performance in 1889. This is the old uh, opera house. Come out to Fremont Street. Show you where the old ah, of course, Schaffelin Hall. Okay, it's a bit windy here. I'll take you down to where the gunfight at the OK Corral really happened, which is actually just outside the place where they do the reenactment. So, the gunfight actually happened here. It was actually Hollywood that uh, associated the OK Corral with the gunfight. It actually just took place away from the gun, from the uh, corral and it's actually here. This is where the gunfight took place. As this testifies. On this spot the Earp and Clinton factions met on October 26, 1881 to settle the West's most famous feud. Yeah, there you go. Tinstone. Where have been in you? It's been fun. So, uh, moving on for Grand Canyon tomorrow. Sedona briefly on the way to the Grand Canyon, which is all rather lovely. Check this out. Grand Canyon. changes every time the sun goes over. It's incredible. Just on the balcony. Yeah, a little walk along Brighton Trail and pop into the 
Cobb Studio. Down here. Colby Brothers Photographic Pioneers. It's Cobb Studio. This is Bright Angel Trail, which we're not going to do because uh, we're in here for a short time. I'm just going to walk down slightly. As it opens up to the canyon. You can see. Okay, we're going to try and get this elk. An elk with antlers this actually is quite rare apparently. Like that is apparently quite rare. So, have a look at the view. It's a bit brighter in the distance. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers love. Gorgeous boy. Keep saying nice rack. <laughs> it's like nice You're rack. So pretty. Nice rack, love. That does mean something else, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> yeah. well, well, you're right. Oh. 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 Oh